Hi, Lorraine here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up professional or custom emails in System EIO, as well as emails sent or information sent by completing the when the contact us form is completed on System EIO. Okay, so the first things first, the prerequisite to do this is for you to have already bought a domain. Yeah, so a domain. We use dinotot.com. They've been really good. Um, so that's where we get our domain. We also get our email services from Dinotot as well. Um, email is, I think it's twelve ninety nine a year. So we get our domains from Dinotot and we get our emails from Dinotot. So for example, in our case, bisswizard.com and then we've got the email services and we have a number of emails, uh, custom emails from Dinotot. So for example, info at bisswizard.com, admin at bisswizard.com, Lorraine at bisswizard.com, uh, you know, so you can get unlimited names um, at your domain. So you would have already done that. So if you purchased your domain and your email services. And what you would have already done as well is on System EIO, you would have already added the custom domain, set up the custom domain on System EIO. I've created another video for that which you can refer to. Okay, so to set up your professional email, to be able to use that for your email marketing and to send out newsletters, uh, you go to mail settings in system EIO and in mail settings, in order to improve your email deliverability, we need to set up domain authentication. So you select setup, put in the domain name and click on continue. When you select continue, you will get something like this. You will get information about all the records you need to add to your DNS on your um, domain provider or your, your domain provider so in our case for blissquizzes.com we had to and, and Dynatod we had to put in all the DNS information in the subdomain records uh, section okay so the value, the name, and the DNS record type. So the record type, the, the value goes on to the IP address, and the name goes on to the subdomain. So that's how I set up on Dynatot. So once you do that, it will have and save, it will have a status of pending. I think it takes a while for, it might, it might be too long, but it takes a while for it to be verified. So once you have that verified, um, that's really good now the next thing you do is you put in your sender email address so this is the email address that is used for sending your marketing emails and if you have integrated your own domain now this is, will be the email address used for sending password resets to your students once you have if you have um, your digital courses set up on system EIO so for us we want the email address to be sent from info at blissquizzes.com and we want the name to appear as blissquizzes so when an email is received the name that will appear is Bliss Quizzes. We do tests when we have um, when we set up campaign emails and newsletters. We want we usually do a test, and this is the email address we do the test from. Okay, and we don't want any information, static footer information on our marketing emails, so we can leave that as blank. But we do want to display the affiliate link at the end of every email, and we're happy to have that unsubscribe at the end of every email. This one here, we've put it, um, we ticked it to say that when we save a newsletter, automatically test, automatically test that, um, send that a test email. So that's why this is ticked. And you click on save. Now, once you have your domain verified and you set it all up as has have shown here, it means that you can start setting up your email campaigns and your newsletters to people. And that's your, you, the email address that you put in here as your sender email address will be the email address that your uh, newsletters or your email campaign is sent from. So this is what this section, this mail, mail, mailing settings in system EIO achieves. 
Now, this is very different to your contact us form that you set up on system EIO. So if we go to our contact us form, for example, so for bliss quizzes, we have a contact us form. Now, if people send information via your contact us form, so if I just do a test here, so I want to send or complete the contact us form. So this is a test. Let's do that. So customers uh, send information using the contact us form. The very big difference is this information is, is sent to the email address that you use to create a system EIO account. Okay. So not this. Well, in case it, you might have used this to create a system, I mean, just a EML system EIO account. I think the main difference here between what was set up in your mailing settings and your contact us form on system EIO is information that is sent uh, that is sent via the contact us form is sent to the email address you use to create your system EIO account. For us, we use JDOS agency at outlook.com to create our system EIO account. That is why the information that was sent on the contact us form was sent to JDOS agency at outlook.com. That's the information here. So I just thought to show you um, what the difference is really. Um, and, I, and I hope that you found this video useful. Don't forget to like and subscribe and look out for more videos.